house. I um I had a tragedy to happen. My aunt, my mother's twin sister, passed away on December the 14th. Um, it's been hard, but I just wanted. Okay, today is this is the 22nd two days after the inauguration of January 22nd of January and I'm starting to go through my aunt's dolls because they were left for me um, I don't think she had them in a wheel or anything but my mom and everybody know that my aunt and I had this in common, so they gave me all the Barbies. So I just wanted to record and show. Um, and this is not all of them because I'm giving a lot of them, well, a good amount of them to my uh, little cousin that plays with Barbies. Um, so this right here is what I have left and I'm still trying to go through these to see can I give my little cousin some more and also I'm going to be selling some of these um, because a lot of them I have already and um, I don't I have too many barbers myself so just wanted to start recording and showing all that she had. Um, this tub right here <laughs> is the ones that I'm wanting to keep. And so it's already become a problem because I, I, I'm already wanting to keep a lot of them. Because um, they're just awesome dolls. And... Um, like this one here. I've never seen this dog before. I don't know who he is. He's articulated. Um, I mean, he's even articulated in his legs. I don't know who this dog is. So, this dog here, I think I looked at him in the store. Uh, when he came out and I just was debating whether I was going to get him and never did so um, just wanted to show some of uh, and this is how my aunt she loved to dress the dog different ways um, than I did uh, she was into royal, royalty uh, she was into Egyptian and African and different ways of dressing dogs. Um, this is one that she dressed that I said I would keep because I like how she dressed her. She was better at dressing dogs than I was. But yeah, that's, she actually went in and painted the hair a different color because the hair was pink. And then she went in and dressed this doll. Um, So here is my tub that I'm going to have to probably go through several times to decide what I'm going to keep and not keep. Um, this is a little small tub of ones that I've decided that I'm going to get rid of. Um, and I'm still adding to this tub. Uh, let me see what's on here. Okay, see this, I have not gone through it yet. And this is all types of dolls. Um, she was into the dolls of the world. So I know that she has a lot of those. Um, let's see, can I pull out? Okay. So she has different ones I remember her asking for that one 
I may have purchased that one for her uh, a while back. Oh, I hadn't seen. She had a mycene in here. I've been trying to keep the mycenes because I had got rid of all of mine and I was regretting that I did that. Oh, here's the hat and bag for that one. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot to get rid of. Um, so, that's just some of them. Okay. Then we come over to this tub. This is the one I'm going through now. Trying to uh, see what's in here. Um, so these are the ones that she still had in, in the box. Sorry. Sorry, I'm breathing loud. I'm bending down. Oh, so she has so many dolls. When she took them out, she packed them in two in the boxes. And as you can see, she was very creative. She would create her own outfits. Um, so. Okay, yeah, she packed them all together. So, when I get rid of these, of course, I would try to put them in their original boxes. But, of course, they won't be in the box like it was brand new. Okay, so, yeah. I know I won't be keeping any of these. I have, I have some dolls of the world. Um, in my attic, I, I can't get in my attic right now because the ladder is broken. So I already have some dolls of the world, so I know I will be getting rid of all of these. Um, I'm not gonna say all, there may be one or two that I might want to keep, but yeah. In and down, so. Yeah, so see, like I probably would keep the Egyptian in the middle. That's something that I know that she dressed up herself. So I was trying to keep those type dolls that she specially. There's nothing in there. Oh, I'm definitely keeping him. Sorry, you guys. I know you all probably saw this. I'm like, oh. gotta keep him. I wanted him when he came out. Um, I think he sold out or something before I could get him. But my aunt somehow, she was able to get him. And she wasn't the type of person that was, you know, good with computers and ordering stuff. But somehow she found out how to order. <laughs> uh, probably pay more than... You know the original price she probably paid more once she learned how to start ordering online um but yeah i remember i wanted him back in the day so he'll be staying with me sorry let's see what else we got here okay the african i think i have her already um I can't remember what country. Um, but I might still keep her because I can't even get to mine in the attic. So at this point in time, I may still keep her. But I I will be getting rid of the... Uh, the, the I guess this is the Spang doll. No? I don't... I don't know what doll that one is. I'll have to try to figure that one out. See if I had the box for it. Okay, I showed that one already, I think. Okay, this is the Inkis box, and the Inkis, I think, is in that other box. Uh, it's not in good condition. Um, but yes, I think they are all in their original outfits. Thank you. 
and oh i might keep the um i think that's the moroccan doll i've always wanted her the other ones i will get rid of i like the one in the middle but i don't know i debate on that one but um yeah i'll be getting rid of those And this is the last box. Okay. So hopefully I can figure out the ones I get rid of. Hopefully I can find the boxes. Hopefully I have the boxes to go with them. Um, if not, I'll have to try to see if I can sell them without the boxes. Um. I think I showed this one. Maybe I did. I have uh, the Japanese one. I think that's, yeah, that's Japanese. I have her. I have the one in the middle. Is that the ink? Oh, this is the ink. Uh, but I don't have that one on the end, so I'll be getting rid of all of these. Okay, I think I should. Show it off. Oh, did I show? Yeah, I showed that. The Chinese. I mean, no, wait a minute. Is she Japanese? Anyway, yeah, I'll be getting rid of all those. Okay. So, just want to show those off to let you see what all she had um, and what all I am keeping and getting rid of. Um, it's, it's a lot, um, especially being that I already have a lot. I'm gonna show you now my curio. This is my curio. <laughs> so that's one curio. Let me show you the other. This is my other curio. So that's just two curios. I have a so called doll room that I am. Um, Oh, what's in that bag? I gotta go through another bag over here. Okay, let's see about this. Let's see what's in here. So these are like places. Okay, I'm gonna go through this stuff now. This is play sets and stuff. Um, clothes and like a doll that's in here. Oh, this is the older stuff. That's right. She has some of your classic Barbies, too. Um, I'm keeping all of those. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, uh, if anybody wants to see more detail of what's in, like, in this box, message me and let me know. Um, I could uh, go through it live with you or whatever um, just to show what's in there um, so just want to show this stuff off and um these two three tubs is mine <laughs> it's, it's mine right now of stuff of dolls and um clothes and stuff and I'm trying to get rid of all the rest of mostly all the rest of this um, so I have um, not made a video in a while because I've not been want to do anything with dolls because it's been hard um, but I did get a doll for Christmas a baby doll for Christmas and I got some Barbies for Christmas um, let me show you what I got <laughs> For Christmas, I got these um, Barbie extras for Christmas. 
Um, I really, 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 really like them. I got all of them. So I just uh, was excited about that. Um, I got a couple of fashionistas. I got to figure out where I put them. Um, but yeah, I love these Barbie extras. And I just stuck them in here for now. My career is pretty crowded now. I just stuck them here for now. Because Christmas was not the same this year. Uh, so, I, me actually doing what I usually do with my dolls. You know, that didn't happen. Um, sorry, this video probably is going on so long, so long. But yeah, what I was saying was I did get a baby doll. I got the... Ashton Drake cuddle baby boy the the African American one and oh my god I love him I love him he almost feel like he's a silicone but he's not a silicone he's just really soft and cuddly um the way his body moves is so realistic um and what I'll do I'll do a separate video on um, my cuddle baby. I love him to death. So I will be keeping him. Uh, but yeah, it was very hard this Christmas. Um, uh, that's why this video is so late. My aunt, who pretty much showed me how to make, how to play with Barbie dolls when I was little. Um, and I actually have found some of the dolls that I played with when I was little. And I'm 40, 44 years old. Um, I found some of those, and of course, I'm keeping those. Um, but yeah, she showed me how to play with Barbies, how to have the little scenes, and how to dress them and everything. And as you can see, she was she collected over the years. She really got back into them when I started uh, collecting again. Well, not again, but when I started collecting, she got back into it. And that's why she has so many. Um, she was retired, so, and she was dealing with health issues. And so this is what made her happy. This is what makes a lot of people happy, especially people that does not have, that do not have kids. She did not have kids. I do not have kids. So this stuff kind of makes you happy. But I was sitting down watching horrors yesterday, <laughs> and I, uh, because my aunt started, I believe, becoming a hoarder, and um, she, you know, I think she was in a depressed, depressive state. She was on dialysis, and that can make you depressed. Um, so I was watching hoarders, and it kind of inspired me. So I, what I want to do. Is make sure that I don't keep too much of this stuff and um, get rid of as much as I can. So uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, because you can't get in a depressive state when you don't have kids and when you have health issues and things of that sort. So I'm just trying my best to um, not let, you know, having so much stuff be a burden to someone that when you pass on. And I'm not saying this stuff is a burden to me, but what I'm saying is it took us extremely long time to clean out an, apart an apartment. So that shouldn't be. It should not take that long to clean out an apartment. Uh, but, you know, she had a lot of collections. So, and that stuff made her happy. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say, you know, and, and, and tell someone that they can't collect stuff. Um, I was watching Hoarders and they was those people was really having a difficult time getting rid of stuff. That stuff makes them happy. So um, I, I totally understand it. I totally understand it. But I just want to try to control the situation and not let it get out of hand. So I want to share my aunt's treasures with other people.
with people that collect and may be looking for something, one of these dolls or whatever. Um, I just want to share those. So message me. Let me know if there's something you see you want. Um, there is somebody that uh, has let me know that they will buy an estate full of, you know, a lot of dolls. And they will buy Barbies. So before I contact that person, I just want to let you all know that if there's something that you're interested in, let me know. I will see if I have that here. And I will um I will work out a way to get it to you. Okay. And um just gonna leave with saying this. Cherish your loved ones, especially now during this pandemic. Cause you never know. You never know when you'll never you know when their last day is. So Make sure you let them know that you love them. Make sure you let them know that you care. And spend as much time with them as you can. Um, because you never know. This lady was my mother's twin sister. So she was like a second mom to me or a father figure type person because my dad wasn't in my life so she was very close to me I was very close to her so make sure that you kiss on your loved ones and let them know you love them all right I'm out